Thank you for coming back. I know you just came back from London. You're filming something out in London. I was. I How, was filming The Witches. Did you, uh, w The Witches? Mm -hmm. Did you develop an accent while you were there? Well, a bit of one. Oh. It's not great. That's pretty good, Ron. Thanks. Oh. Better than what I do. Oh, no, yours is fabulous. You don't know where I'm from. I'm from like, a different part. Like, I have yeah. no idea where I'm from. Oh, I like I that. Yeah. <laughs> uh, how was the weather? Ah, uh, it was really beautiful the first couple of weeks, and then it rained every day for like three weeks straight. Every day? Every day. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And I thought these people should be grumpy, but they were the kindest, most polite. Aren't they just the best? I just, everything sounds better when it was a British accent. Yeah, we packed on a couple of pounds because every time we went to a restaurant, they would just describe something and that I would not normally eat. And I'm like, give me three, give me three. <laughs> like, this is Cheez-Its with box wine. And you know what? I, I, it sounds gourmet. I love it. Don't have three, I love please. It. Uh, and I saw, uh, I, I follow you on Instagram. Uh, it's a good follow, by the way. Uh, and I saw you did some sightseeing and you saw Stonehenge. Yes. Look at this. Yes. What was that like? Short. I thought it would. I thought the stones would be bigger. I loved it though. Um, Wait, <laughs> really? I did. They're I thought smaller? they were. They're much smaller than you than than you think. No. Uh, yeah. Yeah. It was. I'm, I'm sorry. I really? <laughs> it was great. It was wonderful. Did you did you get a vibe or something like a weird? It was really a very magical place, but I just thought, wow, I thought these stones were like stories high, and they're they're not stories high. They're just like a ceiling. <laughs> And how tall, how tall am I compared to Stonehenge? Uh, just, just really? Yeah, what? Like that's a little bit more, but like yeah. much, much. I just thought, okay. Yeah, because you hear all the things like, how did the aliens yeah. do it? Mm. Area Fifty One. It, it wouldn't take aliens. Yeah, guys. yeah. I, it wouldn't uh, take aliens. No. Yeah. And I and did did Velma go with you? <sighs> no, and she was so upset. She was bummed out. Yeah. If you guys don't know, uh, Octavia has a wig named Velma, and. <laughs> And, <laughs> she looks like Velma from Scooby Doo. That's how she got the name Velma. <laughs> That's how she got the name. Let's see, look what? at her. She gets so mad at me when she doesn't go places. And she did this. <laughs> she did this. <laughs> Velma did this to you. Yeah, this, I is mean, un this is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. She's so wicked because normally she's just all together and yeah. you know has a vibe. But it rained and then this is what I look like and I had to. Uh, uh, Velma. Or so Velma did not go on the trip. No. Oh, I'm sorry. Because mm -mm, you see how she did? You yeah, know, yeah, She would have yeah. turned on me. Did she, um, <laughs> is she going, this is exciting news. You're getting your own star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Yeah. <laughs> It is crazy and humbling, and oh my God, the, when, when you hear that, it just, it, 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 there's nothing that compares. And you're in a good group of people, too, a good class. A good class, the class of 2020. I thought I would stop saying that, but I'm in the class of 2020. <laughs> <laughs> I'm graduating from the class of 2020. Hey. Uh, uh, see, that British accent comes you back. You see? Uh, but it's like you, I know Julia Roberts. Yeah, Spike Lee. Spike Lee, yeah. I love Spike Lee. Me too. That's amazing. Do you know where the placement's gonna be or not yet? I hope it's a good placement. Like, I hope it, you know what? Let me shut up. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 She appreciates Over it, she there. loves it. <laughs> Anywhere, yeah. I thought like we should do like a Hollywood Walk of Fame, like a New York Hall of Fame here in New York City. You know what? Oh my I God, that's a great love. idea. We have so many tourists and a lot of walking. Uh, it's a yeah. very walking, walkable city. We should do something like that here. Well, you guys do a lot of walking here. We do. Yeah, I, I, I drive around the corner, which is bad. You need to walk around the corner, people. No, no. Yeah. Well, that's L.A., that's California. <laughs> we do. We do drive everywhere. In California, they're like, oh, my gosh, I know, like, the best place to walk. <laughs> I go, where? And she goes, just take, take the 405 to the one. I go, I have to drive to walk? To walk. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Uh, I'm asking you where to walk here. Yeah. I was like, the best place to walk. <laughs> uh, but look at that. I mean, that's amazing. I mean, gosh, you, uh, I, I, I used to walk up and down Hollywood Boulevard and look at all the stars and be like, Me oh, too. my gosh. And now you're on it. Uh, and you're going to inspire just thousands, millions of people to, 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 to follow their dreams. Yeah. Uh, congrats on that. Thank that's you awesome. so much. Thank you. Uh, let's talk about your movie. Yes. Let's talk about Loose. Uh, Loose, L-U-C-E, Loose. Uh, uh, what, uh, I read somewhere that you said you chose the role because you, it made you feel uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Quite uncomfortable. It's a psychological thriller, yeah. and it deals with power and privilege. And uh, my character uh, doesn't realize that she also has privileges because she's the educator. And um, as a viewer, 
you become an active participant in the film because you have to decide which character you believe. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You and, know? And what, would I do that if I was that person? Exactly. And, yeah. and I was unnerved by some of the things happening in the film and it made, I, and I had to cast myself in uh, the role that Naomi plays. I had to think in terms of uh, her perspective, in terms of Luce's perspective, in, term of, in terms of Harriet's perspective. Yeah. And it was scary. I mean, when you see the film, you un you'll understand. Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's, it's great. It's, good, uh, it's, it's a good job. Uh, we, have, uh, we have a clip from Luce. Let's take a look at this. With the climate around school security, the way it is right now, you can understand my concern. Yes. Which is why I felt I needed to search his locker. I'm sorry. Amy, he wrote a paper. A paper in which he describes his belief that the solution to a political problem is to gun down those with whom you disagree. Right, but he was assuming a character. The assignment called for this, and you... I found this in his locker. Yeah, Octavia Spencer! <laughs> And it's on and on and on.